What is up guys, welcome back to another fingerstyle tutorial. Today we're taking a look at my arrangement of Here With Me by Marshmallow. If you haven't seen the full version, you can click the link above or in the description below. The song is quite easy, it's in standard tuning, but you will need to tap on the third fret. But if you're ready, let's get started. Alright guys, so this song has four main chords, which are A minor, E minor, F, and C. So the song is in 4-4 timing, but we change bass notes a little bit faster than normal. So usually it would be like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. But in this song, it's like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, so I'll put the tab along the bottom for you. If you want instant access to these tabs, you don't want to wait. You can follow the link to my Patreon page below. So this is going to be the 1st string, and this will be the 6th string. So let's get started with the first bar. It sounds like this. So that's going to be our A minor and our E minor. So we're starting in an A minor shape. But I take this finger off, I don't bother using it. So I've just got my 1st finger here on the 2nd string, 1st fret, and then my 2nd finger up here on the 4th string, 2nd fret. And I hit the bass note on the 5th string, followed by the 4th string. Then I'm doing a little hammer on on the 2nd string, so that's going to be 1st fret here to the 3rd fret. Followed by open 1st string. So this is the point where we change chords, so we hit that bass note for the E minor, which is the open 6th string. But we just keep this finger here, and we can just play the rest of the melody which is going to be the 2nd string, 1st string, 2nd string, 1st string. So that 1st bar slowed down. Next bar sounds like this. So this is the F shape that we're holding here. So I don't do it like this, I do it like this. I use my thumb over the top for the bass note. So the shape I'm holding here is 1st finger, 1st fret, 2nd string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 3rd finger, 3rd fret, 4th string. Then I've got my little finger down here on the 3rd fret, 2nd string, and then my thumb over the top for the bass note. Okay, so once you've got that shape, we're going to be hitting strings 2, 3, and 6 together, followed by just 2 and 3 by themselves, twice. So it's going to be like... Then we hit that one more time. And then we're changing chord to the C. So I just move this finger up one fret to get to that C bass note. And then I hit the same strings with that note. Then we're doing a pull off from this third fret back to the first fret which is held down here. Then to lead us into the next bar, I'll do a little hammer on and then an extra note. So it's hammer on on the fourth string, open to the second fret, and then third string open. Okay, so after that we just repeat. The third bar is the same as the first bar. This bar changes slightly. We're still on the F, but the melody is different. The melody is like. Like that, so we still got the same bass note, but we want to hit this first string, first fret. So the way I do that is like this. So I've got my thumb on the bass note, and then my first finger down here on the first fret, first string. The reason I do that instead of that is because I want to hit the open first string and then do a slide up, so it's better to free up this space. So we've got those two, one and six together. Then I take my finger off, hit open first. Then you're sliding quickly up from the second fret on the second string to the third fret on the second string. If you can, try and keep this bass note held down so that it doesn't stop suddenly when you do the slide. So like that. Once you've done the slide up, 
hit that third fret second string one more time and then again with the new bass note which is the C so we're on the third fret on the fifth string after that we're doing the pull off third back to first on the second string and then we've got that same ending bit that we had in the second bar next bar sounds like this So it's quite similar, we've got the same chord, same A minor kind of chord, but I take this finger off again and I hit that string open. So this bar is going to be bass note, followed by 4 and 3, the 4th string is on the 2nd fret and the 3rd string is open. Then we're doing a pull off on the 1st string. So get your finger down here onto the 1st string 3rd fret, and do a pull off to the 1st fret. After that, hit that open E bass note. Then carry on doing the pull off from the first fret to open. And then we're coming up one string to the second string and doing a pull off from the third fret to the first fret. So that bar slowly. Next bar. This one's a little bit trickier, so we're getting into this F shape. And we're starting the same apart from we take this finger off, so we've just got that part. So we're doing 2, 3, and 6, followed by 2 and 3 by themselves twice. Then we're sliding. Put your finger on to the 3rd fret here. Slide up to the 5th fret. As you land on the 5th fret, put your finger up here for the C bass note, because we're changing to the C chord now and you want to hit that bass note. Then we're just going to do a pull off from the 5th fret back to the 3rd, but you want to keep that bass note going there, so you do the add this finger, your 2nd finger, onto the 3rd fret 2nd string, and do the pull off like that from the 5th fret to the 3rd fret. Okay, so we'll play up to that point, slowly. The next bar is like this. So it's a little bit more difficult. The bass note here is the open third string. This is like a D minor chord at this point, so we hit that. And then we're doing a harmonic here. It's gonna be on the 12th fret relative to the capo. So really it's like the 15th fret. And you're gonna do the harmonic on the third string. So just rest your finger lightly on the string, take it away followed by the open first string as you go back down. Then we're getting in here for the chord change onto an F. So we've got that bass note, you need to jump straight into this shape. This one that we had on the second bar. So we've got bass note followed by two and three, then four, then take this, four, this little finger off and hit two and three again. like that. If it's too difficult to go up and do the harmonic, you can just play the open third string. Like that. The next bar is like this. Alright, so the chord's there, so it's going to be a G, so we've got regular G chord, 3rd string on the 6th and the 2nd strings. And then you bring in your 1st finger down, lifting this one off, so we're now on the 1st fret, and you hit 2 and 3 together. Then into a C, and you're going to hit 5, 2 and 3. Then open 3rd string, 
and then you do a little slap and slide down into the next verse. So you can kind of just improvise here. I think I do a, a slap and then I really quickly play that 12th or somewhere up here, just slide from wherever you can to get down back into the next verse. Alright guys, so for the second verse, it's exactly the same as the first verse, apart from this time, we're adding the slaps in on the second and fourth beats. Okay, so it's like this. Okay, so if you've never done it before, it'll take a bit of practice, but hopefully you have, because it's quite common in my arrangements. And sometimes there's going to be another note at the same time as the slap, so like this part. That little part to get to the next bar. That first note is at the same time as the fourth beat slap. So for that one, you want to use this part of your hand, curl your finger up, use that part of your hand for the slap, and then your nails curl around to hit the string, okay? So that way you get the slap and you can get the note. Okay, so I'll just take a little bit of practice. But once you get that, you can play the whole verse again with the slaps. When you get to the last bar, like this, we're adding a new bit here. So instead of doing the slap like we did at the end of the first verse, this time round, we're gonna do a slide up on the third string, third fret to fifth fret. Make sure you use this finger, the third finger, because when we get to the fifth fret, we're gonna put these two fingers down here. First one is on the third fret, first string, and then we put our fourth finger here on the second string, fifth fret. So you've done the slide, get your fingers down there, and we're gonna hit strings one and two together twice. Now we're into the chorus. So the first bar of the chorus sounds like this. Okay, so you'll notice a double slap there. We'll get to that in a minute, but we're starting with this fifth string bass note and two fingers here on the second and third strings of the fifth fret. So we're gonna play those two together after the bass note. Then we've got the slap for the second beat and then we're moving up to this G chord. So we've got the G bass note followed by strings two and three. Second string is on the third fret. Third string is open. Then we've got double bass note followed by double slap. So the first slap is here behind your finger that's holding down the bass note. Second one, as usual, it's just like that. Okay, and then we're adding our finger down here on the first fret, third string, and we're gonna play that one. So that bar slowly. Next bar. This one's a little bit awkward to play, but basically we're starting in this F chord. But we're gonna move our finger, fourth finger down here to the first string, third fret. Okay, so everything else is the same. You've still got this barring, this finger barring this first fret. And we're gonna hit strings one, two, and six. Then hit one and two by themselves twice. Then a slap for the second beat, but you wanna hit that first string to get that third fret, first string note. At this point, we're changing to a C but we need the melody to be like this to go all the way up to the fifth fret. So we can't really do it here because that's uncomfortable. So I use my second finger for the bass note now. And I've got the bass note here. I'm gonna hit that one along with open first. As I hit the open first, hammer on with your third finger onto the third fret, then with your fourth finger up to the fifth fret. Then lift off, open first. Then we're on the fourth beat, so we've got the slap again, but this time the slap is with 
this finger back on. And then hit that one more time. First string, okay? So that bar. Next bar is very similar to the first bar of the chorus. That part is the only part that's different right at the end there. Instead of just doing one, we did two notes. First string, third fret. Next bar. Okay. So this one, it's the same chords, we're still going that F to the C, but the melody is different this time, okay? So we've got the exact same first chord, but then instead of keeping this finger on here, like we did before, we're gonna take off so that we're on the first fret on the first and second strings. Hit those twice, one and two, and then we've got the slap. Try and get that first string with the slap. Then we're quickly changing to the C, just a regular C shape this time. We're going to hit the bass note along with open first string, then open first string twice, second string, first string twice again. Remember we get that slap in on the fourth beat. So that bar slowly. For the next bar, it's similar, but instead of going straight to this fifth fret, I do a little quick slide up. You don't have to do that, it's just a stylistic choice, but... And we don't have a double slap this time. Because at the end of that bar, we're changing slightly. And on the fourth beat, we're putting our finger down here on the second string first fret. So you want to hit that, followed by open first. Like that. The rest of the bar is the same, it's just those little changes. Next bar. Okay, so this bar is different again. We're on the F here, so I've um, got my thumb for the bass note, and my first finger down here on the first fret, first string. Those two. Then open first, first fret, uh, second string, slap, and hit that one again. Then we're changing to the C. And we're going to hit the bass note along with open first, first string again. Put your finger on here for the third fret, second string. Then we're on the fourth beat, so we've got the slap, followed by the bass note again, open third. Okay, so that bar should be relatively easy, nothing too tricky. Okay, so now we're coming up to the end of the chorus. So those are pretty much the last two bars. We're starting in the, like an A minor shape. We've got the bass note followed by the third string, followed by open first. Open first has the slap. Then up here for the G bass note. And then two and three together. Usual kind of G shape. So the second string is on the third fret, third string is open. Those two together. Then lift your finger off to get to this first fret and do the slap at the same time. Then we're sliding up, next bar, this is the next bar now. Slide up, first fret to third fret. Then put your fingers up here on the fifth fret, this time we're on the third and the fourth strings. Play those together, slap, and together again. Okay, so if you've learned the first part of the chorus, the second part should be quite easy, because technically there's only one new bar to learn. Okay, so we're ending the first half of the chorus there, and then we're just going to start the same way again. So you remember how we got into the chorus originally? We're just going to do that again, but this time, instead of 
repeating ourselves, we're going to do this new bar. It sounds like this. Okay, so that's up at the 8th fret, and we've got this open 5th string bass note. So hit that at the same time as the 8th fret, and do a pull off to the 7th fret. Then move your 2nd finger up to the 8th fret on the 2nd string. Straighten for the slap, lean across here, get that harmonic on the 12th fret of the 1st string. Then straighten for the bass note, then we want to hit this second string again and slide up to the 10th fret and hit it there as well. Okay, so that part is a little bit tricky, you just need to practice it over and over again and slowly build up the speed. From there, we're sliding back down and we're going to get into this shape, which is the same as we played the first time through the first half of the course because we're going to play this bar. So that's exactly the same. Then we're just repeating that new bar we've learned. Play that double first string, remember? And then back into this bar, which is the same. Then we repeat our new bar again. And then remember we're down here to the first fret. All this is exactly the same. So we're just ending that exactly the same. So you can see how there's only one new bar to learn there. It's just that. Alright, this is going to be a short tutorial because that's literally all there is to learn in this song. After you finish that chorus, you just play through the verse again with the slaps, and then you do both parts of the chorus and then you play the verse one more time, but without the slaps. So just like we did the first verse, and then you just slow it down and end on that C. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please leave me a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.